It's a mission to understand our closest star, the sun. NASA and the European Space Agency launched a new mission to the sun Sunday night from Cape Canaveral in Florida. The mission will give us high resolution photos of areas we've never seen before. It will provide the first pictures of the sun's poles. The solar orbiter will come within 26 million miles of the sun. That's inside the orbit of Mercury at its closest approach. And I spoke with NASA scientist Dr. Holly Gilbert to help us understand how the sun affects our lives here on Earth and beyond. NASA is launching a new mission to the sun this weekend. What is this mission going to be doing? Solar Orbiter is going to provide us views of the sun that we've never seen before. And this will help scientists gain a better understanding of the fundamental nature of the sun. How does it create the space throughout the solar system? And how does it drive all that activity, what we call space weather? So it's a very exciting mission and unique in a couple of ways. Mission will also give us a look at the North and South Poles for the very first time by flying in a very unusual orbit around the sun. How difficult is it to get into this unique orbit? Yeah, so all of the planets revolve around the sun. So we're orbiting the sun and we're moving in what we call the ecliptic plane. And in order for us to get out of the ecliptic plane, it takes more energy. And Solar Orbiter is going to take advantage of Venus and Earth and do gravity assist. So as it flies by a few times, it's going to gain energy and get that pumped out of the ecliptic. And that's going to allow us to see the polar regions of the sun, which is extremely important for space weather. Wow, fascinating. Well, the sun has seasons. I did not know that. And we are currently in a season of low activity. How will this mission help us better understand these cycles? The sun's magnetic field drives all of that activity and really creates the different cycles. So every 11 years, the sun gets more and more active and then it gets less active. So there are a lot of sunspots, a lot of solar storms. And in order for us to be able to forecast and understand and model this stuff, we need to see the entire sun. So Solar Orbiter will provide the entire uh, image of the sun, giving us that information that we can use to inform our models and then forecast space weather. Now, I understand this upcoming decade, NASA's solar activity forecast is that there's not going to be that many sunspots and cooler weather could be on the way, maybe even a little ice age. Can you talk about that? Sure. I, you know, it's really hard to even know. We, th we still have so much to understand about how the sun works, especially in the inside the dynamo where stuff is turning around and creating magnetic field. We know that that has something to do with the solar cycle, but there's, it's very difficult right now for us to really determine how low the next solar maximum will be. So some people think that it may be low, but it's really, really difficult to say. So we just have to wait and see. Um, I'm not really anticipating a little ice age. And so again, it, it's just, we don't have enough information and enough knowledge at this point to really predict. Okay, well, sunglasses are not gonna cut it for NASA's next generation of astronauts. How will better understanding the sun help astronauts go to the moon and beyond and put the first woman on the moon with the Artemis mission? Yeah, so the sun's dynamic activity can impact us here at Earth. Some of these solar storms get directed at the Earth and the solar wind. We are protected at the surface from the Earth's magnetic field and the atmosphere, but astronauts, they are outside of these shields, and so they're more susceptible to all of this extra radiation and these solar storms. We need to get better information. We need to do better modeling, and Solar Orbiter will help give us that information that we need to then forecast and predict so we can protect our astronauts and also our satellites. Where can we learn more about the Solar Orbiter mission and get launch updates? You can go to nasa.gov slash sun earth. Okay, simple enough. There it is on your screen, nasa.gov, nasa.gov forward slash sun earth. Dr. Holly Gilbert with NASA, thank you so much for taking the time to share this important information. Once again, we have the website there, nasa.gov forward slash sun earth. Thanks again and all the best to you on this new mission uh, that's going to be orbiting the sun.